the classic pigeon pose, you bring your leg forward, bent onto the mat. The angle that you have at your knee here is going to depend very much on your anatomy, how mobile you are. Just work with what you have. And then the most important thing here is to make sure that the pelvis is actually squared up with the mat. So you'll see here, I show you square that up, bring that hip down towards the mat so that your pelvis lies parallel. And once you have achieved that, you can then bring the upper body down toward the lower leg, holding there, let's say, 30 to 45 seconds. The added benefit that you have with this kind of traditional pigeon pose is the stretch through the flexor that you have of the extended leg. So hold it down there, you can come down even lower and rest on the forearms and hold that stretch there. So supine pigeon pose, which basically means pigeon pose lying on your back. You're going to cross your ankle over your thigh and then bring that leg up off the ground. Clasp the hands behind the thigh and draw that lower leg in towards the chest. Again holding, let's say 30 to 45 seconds before changing sides. You can increase the stretch or make it more intense by actually moving the leg towards the center line. So the leg that's being stretched, moving that towards the midline of the body. And you'll notice a difference in that stretch on the outside of the glute. So double pigeon pose, crossing one leg in front of the other and then bringing the body forward once again. Holding it there so 30 to 45 seconds. I'm talking quite a lot here. I'm doing a voice over because the music at the gym was extremely loud and my voice was quite muffled. So once you've held it down there, you can bring the body up using your hands to help you. And then you will change the cross of your leg so that the other leg is now in front. This will probably be your stiffer side because we naturally sit the way that is most comfortable to us. So just hold there and remember to breathe. Breathe through all these stretches, that's the most important thing. Standing Pigeon Pose, find a surface that is high enough that you get approximately a 90 degree um, angle between the two legs. And you can lean forward toward the bent leg to increase the stretch. This is a great thing to do after a trail run on the boot of the car. My daughter uses the bumper. Um, a table works well if you're taller, a kitchen counter probably a good height. Remember you can increase the height by adding cushions. You can also increase the stretch by twisting the body toward the bent leg.